Certain individuals argue that the reference to the seed in Genesis 22 verse 18 does not pertain to Jesus due to his words in Matthew 15 verse 24. Instead, they point to Muhammad based on Surah 21 verse 107. How is their argument articulated? The argument that the seed mentioned in Genesis 22 verse 18 refers to Muhammad rather than Jesus is articulated by contrasting biblical and Quranic texts. Here's how the argument is structured. Genesis 22 verse 18 states, And through your offspring all nations of the earth will be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. The Hebrew word used for offspring or seed is azera, which can be a collective singular noun, implying it could refer to a single individual or a group. In Matthew 15 verse 24, Jesus says, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This statement is interpreted by some to mean that Jesus' mission was primarily focused on the Israelites and not on all nations directly. This interpretation is used to argue that Jesus was not the fulfillment of the promise in Genesis 22 verse 18, which speaks of a blessing to all nations. Surah 21 verse 107 of the Quran states, And we have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy to the worlds. This verse is interpreted to mean that Muhammad's mission was universal, extending to all of humanity, which aligns with the promise in Genesis 22 verse 18 about blessing all nations. The proponents of this view argue that since Jesus explicitly stated his mission was to the Israelites, he does not fulfill the universal aspect of the blessing promised in Genesis 22 verse 18. In contrast, Muhammad is described in the Quran as a mercy to all worlds, which they believe aligns more closely with the promise of a blessing to all nations. Therefore, they conclude that the seed in Genesis 22 verse 18 refers to Muhammad rather than Jesus. This argument hinges on the interpretation of Jesus' mission scope in the New Testament and the universal mission attributed to Muhammad in the Quran. There are some scholars who believe the prophethood of Muhammad is related to Abraham's near sacrifice of Ishmael. Therefore, Muslims commemorate Eid ul Adha or the Feast of Sacrifice. How is this argument articulated? The argument that the prophethood of Muhammad is related to Abraham's near sacrifice of Ishmael is based on the Islamic tradition that Abraham was commanded by God to sacrifice his son Ishmael, not Isaac, as mentioned in the Bible. This event is seen as a test of Abraham's faith and obedience to God, and Ishmael's willingness to be sacrificed is seen as a demonstration of his own faith and submission to God's will. In Islamic theology, this event is considered a precursor to the prophethood of Muhammad, who is seen as a descendant of Ishmael. The story of Abraham's sacrifice is commemorated by Muslims during the Eid al-Adha, or the Feast of Sacrifice, which is one of the most important Islamic holidays. The argument is articulated as follows. 1. Abraham was commanded by God to sacrifice his son Ishmael, as mentioned in the Quran, Surah 37, verses 100 to 108. 2. Ishmael was willing to be sacrificed, demonstrating his faith and submission to God's will. 3. This event is seen as a test of Abraham's faith and obedience to God. 4. The prophethood of Muhammad is related to this event as he is a descendant of Ishmael. 5. The story of Abraham's sacrifice is commemorated by Muslims during the Eid al-Adha, which is a celebration of Abraham's faith and obedience to God. Therefore, the prophethood of Muhammad is seen as a continuation of the legacy of Abraham and Ishmael, and the story of Abraham's sacrifice is seen as a precursor to the prophethood of Muhammad.